Welcome to G4G Games for Gamers. Today we're back here in Marvel Avengers Alliance for a team up that I've been aching to do for several months now. It is called Team Immunity, and this is Destroyer and Wonder Man, and the agent running the techno organic endoskeleton. This is a team up that I've thought for a really long time. Even though Destroyer had been 14, Wonder Man had not until recently. So I finally got him here, and I kind of had a feeling that these guys would be able to walk through a lot of debuffs and um, just basically kind of scoff at that. And sure enough, yeah, it's it's worked out pretty much that way. In the last round that I did a off-camera practice, uh, Wonder Man tanked Molly's entire tantrum, and because he was under molecular reconstruction at the time, he basically laughed his whole way through it and kept getting all these extra turns. Really, really funny. So let's go ahead and take these guys into practice, and I will show you what they are like. Now, right now, with my agent not running anything to stagger, Wonder Man has got a little bit of an issue with the Hoogan's Eye agent. But, uh, so this is an odd team up of Volstag and Molly. Probably it's going to be a massive attempt to get Molly to live for her tantrum. So, uh, let's see what we get. So the reason why I'm running the Techno-Organic Endoskeleton on my agent is because of the Grimoire of the Legion. With Wonder Man and Destroyer being immune to bleeds, I can use the Grimoire without any negative repercussions whatsoever. So that is why I'm running the Techno-Organic Endoskeleton on my agent, so that I do not have to worry about bleeds. So I'm going to lead with that. And then I'm going to check for Mystic, which I know they don't have. And then I'm going to exhaust them. So that is, is rather typical of Volstag. He opened up with his man in the middle. And uh, because Wonder Man has a stealthy attack... And they're flanked. Basically, we're going to go for kind of anybody at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and go for Volstag and get a double enrage because he's going to follow up with the Ionic Punch. So here on Destroyer's turn, we know he doesn't have any ess any essences yet because he hasn't attacked. If I go for Molly, Molly is of course going to counter, but since she is flanked, it's going to be worth it. So now uh, what happens is Destroyer will always follow up with Crush. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with the Disintegration Beam to get her a Radiation Exposure stack from the ISO. And then the crush is going to go ahead and follow up. I'll take a counter, but it should be worth it. Of course, then there's that with Volstagg. So, very interesting is they had a custom MFG. Uh, Destroyer is equipped to fix that, but rather than do it that way, I will Blackest Void it off, which will also get rid of all Stag's buffs and uh, her taunts, and then we will go ahead and uh, do the Grimoire again.
All right, unfortunately, Volstag went ahead and used his drink, which means he's not flanked anymore, so I can't keep the enraged going. Uh, however, knowing that Molly at this point is probably going to go into her tantrum, watch what's going to happen. So, um, I'm speechless at this point. In the last battle that Wonder Man did this, Wonder Man was able to take his turn in between Molly's hits. That didn't happen this time, but look at the turn order at the top of the screen. There is nothing but Wonder Man's at this point. And there is flanked going on in the enemy team, and nobody is tanking right now. So, let's go ahead and build up some rising up buffs here. And and now we're just going to watch Wonder Man wreck face. Here here we go. This is going to be fun. Yeah, speechless. I I'm so glad that was caught on recording right there because that that is the biggest Molly counter I have ever seen. My Wonder Man right now is actually my Destroyer. I'll, I'll show you guys my build over here. So my Destroyer is running Morale Boost and he is running Skull Thumper. Simply because of the fact that he's going to have that frenzy round where he's going to attack a whole bunch. You know, and he's taking advantage of the flank. There's sort of a few things you can run over here. But clearly morale boost is the absolute best for a generalist. And you know Skull Thumper. Over here I'm running the ionizing. Over here I'm running uh, wide open. Which I've cannibalized from my Kurth. I need to give that back. Grace over here, and the Bursting over here for shield groups. My Wonder Man, and he's not running any ISOs because I, I need to check out my build on that. I've run the spreadsheet. Wonder Man over here is, is running some cheesy ones from his past. Nothing particularly new. Uh, I did give him Big and Fast over here, which also has um, some synergy with his level 9. And I went ahead and gave him Street Fighting, which I cannibalized from Hogan. Uh, I have not a would him because honestly, everything he does is melee. 
So that is extremely tough to ISO for because, uh, you know, you could give a wide open over here. You could give a wide open on the stealthy because uh, the stealthy is obviously going to hit who you aim it at. Uh, Hollywood Hammer honestly should be given a uh, increased chance to crit or something like that so that he almost always crits on it. It also is a multiple attack, so four crits is good. Uh, Wonders Never Cease is his personal A ISO, which says restores health. And he, uh, well, this is what the buff is. He restores health, and he gains an extra turn when protecting. And then Ceaseless says that it lasts an additional round and cannot be removed. So it can't be black as voided or anything. You saw what this ability did to Molly. That is the biggest joke I've ever captured in a match, ever. But these three over here, there's so much you can do for it. You could apply bleeds on the Ionic Punch. Um, wide open on the one hit wonder. This is, yeah, I mean, we'll, I can show you guys if we go right to the buy. So we don't really need to do this too much because nobody's setting them up for combo setup. Bloody can definitely be something. Pressure points is not going to be that necessary because we're not exploiting it. However, knocking and pulverizing are, you know, absolutely huge for this. The problem with this team is that Wonder Man will very much be shut down by a Hoogan's Eye if it just comes down to him and the agent. Because he's stealthy, he can walk around protection, but he's not going to be able to do anything to the uh, enemy agent unless the enemy agent is staggered. So kind of what you can do here is take out the Q and you can run something like the Manvatara because the Manvatara does opportunist which causes the staggered 100% of the time. One of the other things you can do is run the new setup over here which is the scroll. This scroll over here causes opportunist and this is always going to be Staggered. Staggered is 100% of the time. And, um, let's see, we're going to get slowed. If we have slowed, we apply manipulated. So let's, let's give this a try, and let's see what this looks like in PvP. This is an awful lot of quick actions, but the good thing is we have a cooldown on the scroll so that should make things a little easier to use and we actually haven't tried this yet i'm kind of curious as to what the manipulated is going to be like So a first round Black is Void is, per is perfectly fine. Uh, they do not have a Mystic, but they do have tech support, so this will be interesting.
so it looks like Wonder Man is got another turn again. And unfortunately, their E Tech shield fired off, which is why he took no damage from the one that wasn't dodged. So, uh, Luke was stunned, and the agent did a pretty good number on mine, who just really didn't get to contribute a whole lot. Uh, as we can see here, we still have some flanks out, so we're definitely going to go ahead and take advantage of that. So, um, at this point, it looks like the Destroyer, despite his immunity to dots, is, uh, oh, Malignant Ice. So this is going to hurt. Yeah, so this team definitely shut mine down pretty well over here. Uh, that Malignant Ice is affecting Destroyer. So his last little hurrah over here isn't going to amount to anything, so Tainu just may as well apply Obliteration Wave. So it seems like Wonder Man was still an absolute hero in this with his uh, extra turns from protecting, but unfortunately these guys had a really, really good counter to us. A very odd loadout for these guys over here. Um, can't say I've seen that particularly often. An E-Regulator, you just don't see that too much anymore, especially with the amount of people trying to carry Shield Breaker. Um, but basically here it is. This was an old gold sale item. Uh, it's passive. It basically says that you have a chance to get a shield and you have upgraded tech while the shield is active. So he was probably trying to bump up his cybernetic blade and his cybernetic cannon because he, cannon, because he had two pieces. The cybernetic cannon gave us malignant ice, which says quick actions become normal. And the cybernetic blade, which says that uh, you prevent healing when that particular poison is active and you have a chance for follow-up. So this is a, a pretty vicious combo. Cybernetic blade definitely made an appearance in PvP for a while. But you rarely see anybody running this set. And I gotta say, this, this guy uh, definitely pulled it off on offense. He's got a little bit of weirdness over here. And uh, let's run a compare in terms of stats. And see what I got beat with on this one. So my health is better. My attack is slightly less. My defense is less. He's got really good accuracy. Really good evasion over me. So, oh, and he's a massive gold spender. Look at that. He did 36 neutrals. So, yeah, that's, that's the attack on this guy. I definitely could feel it. His, his agent was doing a pretty good number over there. So, there's Team Immunity. And, um, my God, Wonder Man was absolutely 
overpowered when it came to Molly over there. And if anybody's looking for a really good counter to Molly, there you go. You saw what Wonder Man did. There's no refuting that. That was absolutely crazy. So take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video and had a good laugh at Wonder Man going batshit insane on Molly over there.